Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 281, and we're going to be talking about altars today, specifically altars done by one of the most amazing altars in the world, Kevin Altered. These cards are going to blow you away. Before we jump in too far, though, I have to say thank you to the USAG Weisbotten Germany group that brought me out there to play Commander and meet everyone. Kevin was a guest at this event, and a lot of the commanders for people's decks and a lot of the cards for people's decks were altered by Kevin. All weekend, I got to see his artwork and see his process. This guy is amazing. If you've got an opportunity to bring him from France to your events, I strongly recommend it. Really nice guy, really crazy stuff that we're going to be looking at here today. He's got so many different styles, I can't count them all. He does this extended border art and this cracked frame art that is just incredible. He does these cards that just look like they're jumping out of their frame entirely. This Liver Queen is just amazing. He's one of the only people I've seen do these perfect fit covers for cards. So the altar is on the perfect fit, and then you add it to the card. Very, very cool idea. This is one of my favorite ones that I've seen done. Jace the Mind Sculptor with Ponder there. Just looks beautiful together. He had a whole section of these in his binder. These are foil altars where he's extended the frame so that the black border goes away and he extends the artwork out there. They're very, very pretty. I have no idea how exactly he does these. These are landscape style commanders and they just look wonderful. The Teferi here also has some gold leafing on it. This is the type of commander that just jumps out of your deck. Incredible here. Foil, Force of Will. As you see, he's taken the foiling from one of the other early sets, Odyssey there, and put it onto Force of Will. Now that's a cool foil, Force of Will. He gets into these projects. Just amazing looking with the blood splatter all the way across it. This is a set of Path to Exiles to die for. It looks like the card is disintegrating. Into the Royal. This is one of my absolute favorite type of cards that he does. It's turning any card into an expedition style card. So it's got the extended artwork on it and it looks like it could be an expedition. Warning, the next few slides all might not be suitable for all audiences. In doing these, he's got a walkthrough of several pictures on his Facebook, and I saw him do this several times. He's literally stitching together multiple cards, onto a single card. It's really like watching surgery to see him do this. It's so precise and it is amazing when it is done. You end up with this single card that is just amazing. I think I'm going to say amazing a hundred times during this video. These extended commanders look wonderful. They're the type of thing that I love to have as the workhorse for your favorite deck. He does some of the best foil altars I have ever seen. The ability to peel away the paint from the card, add an extra level of depth, and do it in a way that really speaks to what the card is doing. Banisher Priest, it looks like the card is being banished. Incredible. Mole Drifter. A card with Invoke. This is one of my absolute favorites that he's done. The number of times I've cast this just as a divination and then brought it back, I feel like it's just there for a transitory short period of time. And this altar really feels like the way I play that card. Gold Leafing is another technique that he does on cards. So this is a Liliana Vess from San Diego Comic Con, and he adds this gold leafing to it that really makes it pop out at you. Gilded Drake. Of all the cards to have gilded, this is an incredible one. This is a mirrored technique where he adds 
a mirror to the card. Very cool. It's amazing. I don't even know what to say here. Like he has taken a hologram from another card that applies to what you're looking at and transfused it onto a magic card. I didn't even think of this as a possibility. This guy just his creativity blows me away. Looking through his binder was just amazing. So closing on some quick fun facts, apparently he's also a model and a volleyball coach. If you're interested in his stuff, definitely hook up with him on Facebook. Really nice guy. I cannot recommend him enough. Wonderful altruist. I have put on a very small amount of the images. You can spend hours, if not days, looking through the hundreds of images that he has up online. He is also a staple and a regular in the altered card and artwork community. There's a rating system in that community where you can rate past altruists that you've worked with. He has something like 37 plus positive where everybody else has like three to 10. He is one of the most active members of that community. And every time he posts something, it is just mind expanding, really cool artwork for amazing altars and other magic news. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. We're going to be having a Google Hangout on Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific for individuals who are patrons. If you want to become a patron of the channel, I greatly appreciate it. It's what makes this possible. Until next time, choose the cards wisely. It's amazing.